Yo, 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 what's going on, 20 I hope you're all super well. Look at the dog. He's just chilling. Killing it. I hope you guys are out there killing it. I know the UK went back into lockdown, so you guys get your home workouts in, get those home training sessions in. I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but if you're not in lockdown, I hope you're enjoying it, playing your football. Hey, I can't wait to get back out on that field. And we'll talk about where I'm going to end up after my injury a little bit later on. So for lunch, I've got a fish bowl. If you guys live in Australia or Northern Beaches, fish bowl is so delicious. Brown rice, chicken, some salad, and then I'm gonna mix that through with some pumpkin as well. So super healthy lunch. Gonna go off to the gym pretty soon. Right now it's 12.30, so I'll eat this, go to the gym at about 1.10, and get an absolute solid session in. Every day, I, f like I start to enjoy the gym more and more. I say this, and I truly feel like when I come back from this injury, I'm gonna be not only a completely different player, but seen by coaches and other players as a different player, which is gonna be really cool. Arrived at the gym, I still weigh, look, the camera's about 800, 900 grams. It's a fair bit. So yeah, 70.5 70, 70 is kind of what I've been sticking up. Now, I'm okay with that. It's just like, you know, I can't do any cardio right now. Some people are recommending battle ropes, recommending bike. I, like, I'm not at the stage where I can really do a really tough cardio. I can't burn a ton of calories, that's just how it is right now, but the one thing we can do is work hard and work out, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Right, if I'm honest, I think I prefer my push days over pull days. Pull-ups, my form is... Ah, look, it, I know it's not good. You guys don't need to tell me, but with practice, I'll get there, and getting stronger, I think my lower abs aren't great. I am doing core work, but it's just very minimal stuff, not even worth showing you. Here we get into our barbell rows. It's really good. I was just looking before going through all my numbers. I was getting 30 kg, 10 reps, 11 reps, 11 reps when I first started this. Now I'm up at 35 kilos, 13 reps, 11, 11. Reverse grip pull downs. I started at 30 kilos and then they got 12, 12, 12. Now we're up at 45. So I'm just getting stronger and stronger. And it's awesome to look back at your gym progress. This exercise, I started 20 kilos, did 12, 12, 12. That was a little bit too easy. 25, I got 15, 15, 15. That one, I'm slowly building it up. Barbell curl, obviously progressing. I changed my form a little bit, so the weight went down, but it's really cool to see the progression in the gym. That's kind of what keeps me going. Let me know down in the comments, what keeps you going to the gym? I tell you what, I changed up my workout a little bit today to make sure that I went to kind of no more than a minute 30 on my rest, put it to about a minute, and I got the whole thing done except one exercise in 35 minutes, which is really good. Didn't do the last exercise because I got to do the bike. I got me home. Sam's doing some work for me, so I'm gonna make sure I'm home for that. But, I've, dude, I can't even hold this camera. My arms are so sore, but I'm seeing improvements, man. Like, even this shirt and my underarms right here, you can tell it's getting smaller easily. But we're gonna do the bike now, get this done, dude. So like 15 minutes about. I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that my knee cracks again and I get that pain and I can explain what the pain is. It hasn't happened the past couple of days, but I know it's still lingering around, I know it. And the reason I want that is because I'm seeing the surgeon this coming week. So I wanna make sure that I can tell him like, these are the pains that I'm getting, this is where it is. I'm not some psychopath who wants pain. Anyway, bye work workout time. Oh, I'm so happy with our workout. Every workout I do, I'm stoked. Feel so good about it after, and I know I'm on the right track, man. I know it, I can feel it, I can see it in my body. Feels good, man. Right, so I did end up getting the pain in my knee, which is a good thing, a little bit frustrating, but you guys get to hear what it sounds like. You can see exactly where I'm pointing, and that's so important to give to the physio, give it to the surgeon, so they know exactly what's going on. I was only on here for about seven minutes and the seven minutes I was on there, uh, look, I'd say it felt good. Got my legs going, it was nice. So yeah, you can see me just pushing. I was going at a decent speed, which I was happy with. I've been progressing my speed every time I get on the bike, slowly getting faster. But yeah, I, I haven't really got past eight to 10 minutes yet. And that's just because of the knee. So let's get into that. I got it. Ow. This is really important, this. I'm feeling for where it is. Just came off about seven minutes 30 on the bike, so I did warm up, of course, and I went three minutes hard, minute 30. Uh, oh, it's come back, has it? Yeah, it has. So I'm getting that creek right there, which right on that freckle, that's the same spot. I'll see if you get here.
but it was in the second set of the third minute, so three minutes on, minute 30 recover on the bike, and that second set I started to feel it ever so slightly, and then it came on. But right there is kind of where it feels like the creek is. And I'll give another angle. So like about there. Right on that freaking. I am frustrated. I thought that it might have been okay because I did my pull work yesterday. Didn't hurt. Did that and I was feeling okay and then it just started feeling like the whole time didn't feel normal in that knee and then all of a sudden it starts to tighten up and something goes out of place. I don't know, but that was really crucial information, that videoing, so that I can show the surgeon next time I see him, this is the pain I felt when I did this, this is the pain I felt when I did it in the pool, and he'll be able to identify it a bit more. And look, I think it's gonna be very likely we end up getting another MRI, or listen to this. So I'm zooming in on my knee. You hear that? I really hope you guys heard that, but that's, what's happening in my knee right now and I think that the meniscus is coming out of place and it's rubbing on something I don't know but look I gotta get an I think I just have to get an MRI it doesn't matter man we just gotta make sure that I'm okay I can't I can't live like this no way right we're gonna save the part where I talk about what's gonna happen after I recover from my injury and where I'm gonna play with I go overseas for another video because I really want to touch on this I've seen a lot of people in the comments and I've had a lot of messages saying Sheldon the clicking in your knee is this. The clicking in your knee is this. This is what's happening with your knee. And look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think anyone knows. Uh, this pain that I feel, a lot of you guys say, oh yeah, it's normal, but I can guarantee you it's not normal. That screeching pain that you guys were hearing, that is like excruciating. And the only way I can describe it is like, I have to stop everything I'm doing and like relax, wait a second let the body recover and then I can go again. But the only pain I can relate it to is when I tore my meniscus. It's like, I can't walk, I can't function, and it just like will eventually like, whether it moves back into place or whatever it is, it takes a second and then it's okay. Yes, it might be, it might be fine, it might be normal, but this pain, like, it's not something I can push through. It's not like, oh, it's a clicking pain. That's like normal when you get knee surgery. And look, the only person who will know, and I think it's difficult for you guys because you're not here with me. You don't see the knee. Like there are, like this is right on the meniscus. We heard Dave talk about it yesterday or well, the day before for you guys in the vlog. I don't know what it is. Neither does he. Maybe we'll know more with the surgeon soon, but yeah, I think, look, I understand. Thank you for the messages and everything. Uh, saying it's just normal clicking, but I'm look 100% honest. I really don't think it is. I think it's something a lot worse than that. I think, in my opinion, I think the meniscus is moving out of place because it's replicating that same pain. I might be wrong, but I, that's the that's what I want to act as right now because the fact is it's not getting better. I'm nearly 16 weeks post surgery. It's frustrating me, and we have to make this better. And there's no harm in going and getting an MRI and going, okay, look, the meniscus is fine. If it's that, then okay, well, what's going on? We need to work it out. Again, this ain't normal, man. I know the clicking. I get that normal clicking pain. I have that clicking pain where the knee clicks in my knee. Like, I get that. I have that right now. I'm not complaining about that. This is something different. I get a lot of clicks in my knee. Listen, that's my meniscus knee. I don't know if you guys can hear. I am getting a ton of little clicks and movements in the knee. They're fine. I can push through those. They're okay. This is something different. I, I can guarantee you that. So, yeah. We'll get. We'll hopefully get on my eyes, speak with the surgeon this coming week. And we'll go from there. But, yeah, this is normal. So, I'm going to end the vlog there. We'll get to that uh, future of where I'm going to play everything in another vlog. But what I do want to say is thank you for you guys to reach out to me and recommend these different things. I don't think I quite explained myself well enough and said exactly the pain I felt. So look, that's my bad. But I, again, I really do appreciate it. You guys care about me so much. I seriously can't thank you enough. I'm just, a look, I, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit frustrated right now. And I'm sure you guys can understand that. It's not an easy time. I just want to be back on that field. I'm doing everything I can to get back there. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you like, like, and subscribe. And enjoy joining us in the rest of your life.